I'm gonna showcase the project that I've been working on. Um, let's get into it. So as we can see here, this project basically, um, it gets edges and it calculates dots and calculate it, it calculates distance between the dots, which are based on edges. And then it nullifies and renders everything into a texture that is then edited and the colors are then adjusted according to user preference. This is so nice. I really like this. This it gives me like vibes of like space, but like weird and like superpowers, like. Yeah, this is the project. I want to run over the nodes, yeah, to just showcase a little bit of how this technology works for this particular um, project, yeah. So the first node, we get the input from video camera, which is what I chose, and then I calculate the edges, um, and then those edges pass onto a threshold, which I can then uh, process them and make them clearer edges and then I blur them I don't know why but I just figured that after like processing this it will be like easier to track um, specific like it will give you a, a bigger area to process and create edges around if that makes sense and then uh, yeah I nullify it to kind of render it process it I'm not sure what nullify does but I just know that it's useful to do it sometimes after we want to render something and then I apply tracing which is basically just calculating the edges and simplifying it so that it creates dots and then I join those dots as you can see there's a lot of dots this is going really fast right now I don't know why it's chaotic <laughs> I really don't know why it's going this fast. But yeah, as you can see, there's like dots. Well, they're not dots, they're like squares because I chose them to be squares because it's more futuristic, cyberpunk. And yeah, as you can see, like there's dot um, squares and they're being joined by lines. Yeah. And then I create, I'm not gonna go over the camera and the lines because that's like technical stuff that's not, I don't think it's necessary for me to explain. But then I process everything into a a geometrical shape, and this geometrical shape, which is being rendered by the cam and the line, is going to be processed by the rendering node, which then allows me to apply some effects, specifically bloom, which is basically just like blurring stuff. You see? Which I love. Love. Um, and then, yeah, and that's the first root that I'm applying, which as you can see, there's two, um, let's say layers of this pro for, for, for this specific composition. The composition takes, uh, like many different layers. Think of like when you're drawing digitally, you have like multiple layers, right? The composite takes all those layers and you can do whatever you want with them. You can like... Just add them on top of each other, the colors, you can like subtract them, divide them. There's like a bunch of, you see, there's many operations. There's way, so many stuff. This is like, oh, XOR is very amazing mathematics. XOR, if you look into the theory, theory of XOR, it's so incredible. Like, let's say you have two truths. Usually, mathematically and philosophically, two truths will give you... A truth, right? But with XR, two truths will give you a negation. It will be false. Wait, what was it? Add? Yeah, it's this. It's really interesting. Let's say you have a truth and a, and something false. Technically, this would be false. But with XR, it will be false. It will be pos uh, affirmative. It will be true, which is, which can give us like really, really interesting effects and and just it's very useful for specific stuff and computing um okay yeah this is the first root 
as you could see it was it's just like the tracking and doing dots and then for the second route it's being instanced here i selected the camera here then i process that into like color modifier i'm just like modifying colors here making like stuff more pink like the background as you can see is like magic and then i'm passing all of that from this specific specific route i'm passing it into a render pass which is a, a different instance of just rendering something and then i pass that rendering into this composition which we talked about before and it adds everything together and then i have this final outcome which is what i just showed you exactly this i really like this this is my first project i'm obviously gonna do this is obviously it's self-explanatory like this is my very first project yeah so that we're only going upwards from here you know like we're only gonna create cooler stuff with as I go and as I learn more advanced mathematics and and work on Arduino projects and stuff and hopefully someday have these projects in a museum that would be so amazing and just create like art and music videos for well using technology yeah that's that's amazing and that's my goal um this was it i really hope you enjoyed this video um let me know if you want more tech videos in this channel uh let me know what you think of this video well let me think of let me know what you think about this project if it's interesting if if you found it was like cool if you like the colors if you didn't like the colors what are some ideas that you'd love to see like i can pretty much do anything um pretty much literally anything yeah as long as i have the time i i can pretty much do anything which is kind of cool yeah i mean engineering you know that's that's why 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 wouldn't i be in engineering you know what i mean like you can do anything and everything and this is too revealing oh my god i'm so sorry youtube internet people that are watching me jesus christ uh, this color is not very good for my face. This is neither. Oh, quite flattering. This one is okay. Hawaii coat. I like this shirt. Um, that was it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll weird you guys next. Whatever. Bye.